problems on ultrasound and sonar problem 1 a submarine emits a sonar pulse which returns from an underwater cliff in 1.02 seconds if the speed of sound in salt water is 1531 meter second how far away is the cliff so basically there is a underwater cliff and there is a submarine what is the distance between the cliff and submarine which we will say d how do we find out we know speed of sound in the water and we know the time taken for the ultrasonic pulse to travel and hit the cliff and come back so the time taken here is given as 1.02 seconds so let us see what is given and how we find out the distance so speed of sound in salt water is given as 1531 meter per second and the time taken for the pulse to return t is 1.02 seconds speed of sound is v now let us consider the distance from ship to cliff is d the distance is v into t but the t here is for traveling up and back from sonar to cliff and cliff to sonar so the distance which we get is also twice that's why this becomes 2d is v into T, which is in this case one five three one into one point zero two, which gives rise to, and we need to find the d, so we can as well cancel one point zero two by two, so which gives rise to seven eighty point eight one meter. So the distance between the sonar and the cliff is. Seven eighty point eight one meter. Problem two. Problem two. A sonar station picks up a return signal after three seconds. How far away is the object? And V is given as one thousand four forty meter per second. So let us say it is a return signal. It takes three seconds for it to travel, and the distance is two d. And D, meaning the distance between the object and the station. So let's see what is given and how we calculate. Speed of sound is fourteen forty meter per second, and time for return signal is three seconds, and D is. The distance between sonar and object. So two D is V into T, which is fourteen forty into three. So which is nothing but four three two zero. That is four thousand three twenty meters. So D is four thousand three twenty by two, which will give us. Two thousand one sixty meter. So the sonar is at two thousand one sixty meter from the object. Problem three. A sound wave travels at a speed of three thirty nine meters per second. If its wavelength is one point five centimeter, what is the frequency of the wave? Will it be audible? So what is the given? data in this they gave us the wavelength of the sound wave so wavelength is nothing but lambda wavelength lambda is given as 1.5 cm and it should be in terms of meter so 1.5 by 100 meter now from this wavelength we can find out what is the time period the time taken For one wave to complete its distance, so the time period there is t is lambda 
by v. Now, what is v here? V is the speed of the sound which is given in the problem as 339 meter per second. So, t becomes 1.5 by 100 into 1 by v, so 1 by 339, which will come to 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 seconds. Now, the frequency f is nothing but inversal of t. So, frequency f is equal to 1 by t. So, this will be 1 by 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 5. So, which is nothing but 22,600 hertz. Now, we know that the audible frequency range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Since this frequency is greater than frequency which we found in the problem 22,600 hertz is greater than 20,000 hertz, it is not audible.